Once again, it's so um, positive to have such a debate on these pages. Um, Steve Smith uh, gives a very full account about um, Fiona Bruce's exchange with Ken Clark um, and Yasmin uh, Alibi Brown. Um, she says, uh, but um, Yasmin says that um, uh, Stanley Johnson was a wife beater on record, to which Ken Clark pulled a smug Tory face. Fiona Bruce clarified that it was reported by Stanley Johnson's wife to a reporter that she said Stanley Johnson had broken her nose. Johnson had not commented publicly on this, but friends of his uh, said that this did happen in fact. Bruce was simply doing her BBC job to clarify uh, that comment by Brown and clearly said herself she was not disputing it. Now, the, the error, um, and uh, Steve Smith adds, so essentially smug Tory grandee Clark is supporting a wife beater and the wife beater's son, himself a fine criminal and a proven liar, wants to give this wife beater uh, bloke a knighthood. Now, um, Fiona Bruce, does she exonerate Stanley Johnson? Absolutely. Uh, Steve Smith says, sorry, sorry, I think Tim Wilson should know better than that on reflection. A actually, I stand by what I've said. Uh, the exoneration was in the use of the expression, it was a one-off, I grant you. That was the mistake, and that is why Fiona Bruce is quite right to resign from the charity, from her ambassadorial role. It's simply wrong to cheapen the experience of uh, somebody who gives testimony about domestic abuse. Now, whether it actually happened or not, that is a matter for um, a legal decision. That would be a matter for a guilty plea or a not guilty plea in a court. So uh, there is a certain point at which we would have to say allegedly over the whole of the story. However, we cannot dispute the testimony that Stanley Johnson's wife gave to that reporter. And to cheapen it by saying it was a one-off is exactly to do that, to cheapen the testimony. And that we should not do. Uh, we can add the word allegedly to put it in context so that uh, we are not um, uh, anticipating a judgment which has never taken place. Um, but we should not belittle the testimony. And while that uh, matter remains simply the testimony of Stanley Johnson's uh, wife, who has now died, uh, I think it is appropriate that um, if we are not going to um, allow a known domestic abuse um, perpetrator to appear at the coronation um, concert, then we should not, in all conscience, allow a, a person who has been so clearly accused of domestic abuse to um, be given uh, an honour by this country, one of the highest honours in the land. For what? For what? For siring uh, the Prime Minister? Well, there are plenty of people who have sired Prime Ministers and they are not Knights of the Realm. I think this is an inappropriate way to behave. Now, as for Ken Clark's comment that uh, Stanley Johnson is likeable, has a nice sense of humour, like the rest of the family, I entirely agree. I, I don't share the view that, um, that all the family has a nice sense of humour. I, I don't particularly like Johnson's sister. But um, I, I do like Stanley Johnson, but then there are many domestic abusers who are quite charming, and it would be foolish to pretend otherwise. Uh, is Stanley Johnson a domestic abuser? I don't know. There has been no court case. I don't know. So I have to say this is all about allegations that were made to a journalist. Uh, but Fiona Bruce seems to believe the story. And this is why it makes it so bad. She seems to believe the story. And she says that uh, Stanley Johnson's friends have confirmed that, um, that this story about him hitting his wife is true. That makes him a domestic abuser. 
and as somebody who represents a charity, this is not something Fiona Bruce should have taken so lightly. That is the issue. And uh, I, I hope I've made it clear now. Um, I, I don't think it's something we should dwell on particularly uh, because it hasn't gone through the courts. But I think it is something, I think Fiona Bruce's behaviour was deeply wrong and it is something that I would expect a BBC apology um, to, um, to be forthcoming about. Uh, and um, I think this is, frankly, as big a, um, a failure of the BBC as the uh, Gary Lineker issue was judged to be. In fact, I think this is a bigger issue. It's about um, belittling things. It's like uh, dismissing racism as a joke, which, of course, Nigel Farage did. We must get past the point that, um, you know, casual comments can cause harm. And it's those casual comments which are uh, the ones we, we, we must watch out for. And Fiona Bruce, I'm sure, will be the first to say that she did not intend it in the way that it came across. And she should have done so. Uh, and the BBC should help people to do this, rather than throw them at the mercy of having to resign and having a great fuss made. But the BBC is not protecting its um, talent. The BBC is protecting itself. And that is the problem.